Hello, my name is Tamara Pradambulo. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Mexico City and I applied for an opportunity in Budapest, Hungary. Um, I've worked previously with disabled people, mostly in orphanages and special homes where they lived. Uh, I went during middle school and during high school as a social service uh, for school. We went to these houses and maybe created activities or organized games for them to have fun for a while. Um, we also uh, just sat down and talked to them if they had anything to say, if they had any problem. We, we were able to do that, but we also helped uh, in maybe feeding them, changing them, uh, their clothes, maybe help them with uh, some health uh, necessities they had. We also even had to change their diapers, so it wasn't all fun and games. Uh, we supported also uh, the people that worked there in maybe some cleaning or something and it was uh, mostly to be there with them and try to uh, try for them to have a good time. Uh, the ages uh, we worked with were uh, babies, kids, teens, adults and elder people so I was able to interact with um, disabled people from many ages and it was really good. Um, something that worked for me like to treat them was uh, to treat them just like a normal person as if they are uh, just like a normal person because they sometimes they even though they have a disability they do feel when you treat them differently and that's not good for them they deserve to be treated equally as the rest of the people so that's what we did um, we also uh, treat them very gently try not to make things to uh, that would make them upset um, we would also uh, one thing that didn't work for me was was that um, it may be very exhausting you may run out of patience because maybe they will get upset and they will stop wanting to do something or they would get sad or whatever and it can be um, um, you can get really tired so I didn't know what to do in that case so um, I solved that problem by asking the responsibles there what what could I do they were experts so they were able to tell me do this, do that, um, this will make him happy, this will not. So uh, asking for help was what I did in that problem. And also um, one thing that really worked for me was to be happy with them all the time, try to cheer them up and everything. Well, um, then uh, my motivation, I want to go to Hungary because it's a place that I've heard a lot. Uh, I've heard really beautiful things about it. Uh, they, I've even heard that it's one of the most Budapest is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So I really want to visit. Uh, I want this opportunity to meet a new culture, uh, try new food, try new people, try to live uh, far away from home for a while to find myself and try to live alone, meet new people from all over the world and this is a great opportunity to do that. I once had a Hungarian teacher and we learned a lot from her. She taught us about her country a lot and I really remember that. Um, also, I, I would like to work with disabled people because they are really amazing people and it's a sector of society. It's a sector of society that um, it's really forgotten, really excluded. Uh, so it's really important for us to try to include them, make them feel part of society because they are. And I would like to do that. I would like to be part of a change. Um, try to maybe help them have a good time, have a good moment. Uh, my goal is to have an impact on at least one of them and try just to create inclusion for this uh, sector of society that sometimes is mistreated or excluded and they should not because they're people just like the rest of us and um, my strengths are um, that I'm I'm a really hard working person um, when I have a goal I really fight for it um, I do everything uh, 
uh, in my hands to, to achieve that goal. I'm also very committed. Um, if I'm in a project, I would do things and I would do them right. Uh, doesn't matter the cost. Um, and I'm also res really responsible. Um, I like to do things right and do things as they are asked uh, in order to have a good result. For me, achieving always a good result is one of the most important things. And some of my weaknesses are that maybe I'm a little bit perfectionist. Um, I like to do things perfectly and it's not always something good. Uh, I'm also uh, a very controlling person. I, I always have to be in control of everything and sometimes I need to just relax and maybe uh, trust other people to do other things. And I'm also uh, want to uh, do things very quickly to everything to work out fast and good and things will not always work quickly. So I need to work on that. And last, my hobbies are uh, I really like to work out, to be healthy, make a lot of exercise, uh, play sports. I uh, play tennis and I really enjoy it. I also like to read, I like listening to music, going to concerts. I also like hanging out with my friends and my family, having a good time. Or maybe just relax, sit down and watch TV. I like all that. Um, I'm studying hospitality management and I really like it. Um, I've, I know three languages, English, Spanish and French. I've been studying French for seven years now and I'm really working hard to, to make it perfect. And um, my pastime activities include hanging out with my friends. Uh, I'm a really studying person so I really dedicate a lot of my time on doing homework and studying. And well, that's pretty much uh, about myself. I, I hope I can get 